Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Angela Bannon and this month's Spellbinders Club Kids are open for new signups. I'm collaborating with some of my crafty friends to share our projects, showcasing some of the fun new club kits. Be sure to check out my teammates' projects by clicking hashtag SpellbindersJan24Clubs or clicking on the video links below. I'm going to be showing you how I use the Better Press of the month. I've never used the Better Press machine. This is my first time using it, but I've often been told it's a foolproof system. And this is me using it absolutely for the first time when I do the first impression. And you can see I do a bit of a mess up there, but I learn from it. I try using different inks, different papers, but I do use all 100% cotton papers. In future videos, I'll be experimenting with different inks and even more papers. But for this video, I'm showing you how I use the January 24 Better Press of the Month plates and how I create six cards. I also do some brayering. I try a few things. Now, I'm not going to talk too much in this video, but you will see I've got lots of notes in between to show what papers I've used, what inks I've used. It's so easy to use it. The chase, which is the base of it, is a very, very strong magnet. And the platen, which is the bit that you stick your paper on and the acrylic see-through, that is called the, the platen. That's where you stick your paper on. Now, while the big die or big plate does not move, the sentiment plate does move. And I made a mistake when I did my first impression where I kind of double impressed my uh, sentiment. I learned from it. I have never used this before and I still get some amazing results. So I do see myself using the better press, letterpress system to make quick cards which are really, really elegant and classy. I really hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And when you do subscribe, remember to press the notification bell so you're alerted when a new video is uploaded. I've got many more Spellbinders Club kits that I will be showing or having videos on for this month and the subsequent months for this year. So this is the first of many of the club kits and I really hope you learn from it. I have certainly learned from it. Now to clean the ink, better press ink from the dyes as well as the, the chase, you need to get archival ink cleaner. I don't have it to hand, but it doesn't really stop me from using different inks on it. But I also try something which is what I call like a blind letter press, which is no ink at all. And I really like the results. So I'll be doing a lot more of that going forward. I've got all the products that I've used linked below. And if you see all of the cards that I tried, they're all 100% cotton. Because I find the some of the better press cotton card panels like the Beesk Pebble and the Porcelain a little bit pricey. So I found some more competitively priced alternatives. I think if you got a 100% cotton card, that's probably the way to go. I still want to try different ways if well making the card damp or putting a damp element behind the card will it change the impression so i'll probably have another video coming out once i get through all my septal binder scalp kits to experiment a little bit more with the better press letter press system i'm going to leave you with some music now and i'll catch you later
here are all the completed cards with different inks, different cards, different papers used, but all of it 100% cotton. And I'd like to experiment more with it. And I hope you will join me in that journey of better press, letter press system, card making. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And when you do subscribe, remember to press that notification bell so you're alerted when a new video is uploaded. I especially like those cards that I've used a brayer on. I think it's a quick, easy way to get an elegant card where you do the letterpress impression on that card and then you colour it with a brayer. Lovely. Thank you so much for stopping by. Happy crafting and I'll catch you at my next video. Take care.